So guys, I got this 03 Jeep right here. And they said that the check engine light's on. So we're gonna see if we can use the Think Diag on here, find out what's wrong. Got this awesome extension lead right here from my friends over at, uh, I think it's OBD2 or OBD Tools or something like that. I'll send you a link to them. But it's really heavy duty, like it's a heavy cable. And I already smashed this in a door and it seems to be holding up pretty fine so far. So it's like two foot long or something. That way I don't leave this anywhere because I, I left this in like three cars so far because it's just a dongle. So I'm going to bring it up and we'll see what's going on. Here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Are we going to be ripping apart bumpers, tearing intakes off to diagnose a car, ripping a dash out? Or is it going to be like intake error, open circuit code? Auto then failed. Let's see. Where's Jeep? That's odd. I don't think I've ever had it. Oh, 03 not automatically. Decode. So I'm going to let this go and then we'll come back to it. Look at that, guys. It found it. Let's do a health report. This shouldn't take too long. There's probably like five modules on here. I'm going to watch it take an hour. I always do health reports, guys. It covers you. Did you end up not doing one? And then somebody complains about something else. Well, this way you have a whole list of car. Use car lot, it's not really a big deal because they usually only have me fix like one problem. But sometimes stuff's related. Like look at that, BCM, three faults. So I'll let this run a little bit and then it will come back to it. Okay guys, it just finished, so look at that, there's six modules on the car. Well, I guess eight modules. Yeah, eight modules. So let's see what these codes are. It took a while to scan though, because it decided to scan for every single module Chrysler might have. Let's see, read fault code, DTC. Right rear fan control relay circuit. That is a new one, guys. I don't think I've ever seen that code before. Let's go back. Let's see. Let's go in the BCM. Let's see what we have in BCM. They might be related to the radiator fan. Oh, okay. Windshield wiper codes. Okay, they seem to be working. This is relay output low. That's interesting. Okay, so we'll just go back to this BCM because that's all they're worried about. I mean, PCM. And I'll go pop the hood a while and then we'll go after this. Actually, I guess we'll see if the fan turns on first. So I'll be right back, guys.
Hey guys, you gotta get one of these mobile printers if you're gonna do mobile work. Print out the wiring diagram for the cooling fan circuit, but like this printer is completely wireless. Like you can see there's no wires, it's battery powered. This is awesome. I have my phone plugged in right now because my phone was dying. But I tried to print from my phone, but it didn't want to Wi-Fi direct connect. But we got our circuit here. Oh another thing is this thing lasts for like a month or so off one charge just sitting. Let's see. And it goes on auto standby. But here's our diagram. So we got this fuse. It's 40 amp fuse that feeds this relay for the fan. And it says it's behind the headlight. I looked over here, but it wasn't on that one. Well, it says behind left headlight, but I didn't see a. I didn't see a fuse in here for a fan. Like, none of these said fuse. We got clutch interlock. We're a 2AC blower, ASD, wiper, wiper, starter, fuel pump. And that's the only relays I saw, so I don't know if it's separate. Guess I'll have to look some more. Okay, guys, so. Right here is our relay, so our control circuit is what it says is open. So it's this light green wire. So what I did was I took my Phil's probe, my new like 15 inch Phil's probe, and you can see we're uh, piercing the wire down there. And let me make sure it's still on there good. Yeah, so we're on the wire, and our test light is not lighting right now. I'm going to see if I can control it with the scan tool, but I don't know if there's a way to control this. So I'm wondering if this relay is bad. See, somebody replaced the fan in here because we got a new dormant fan and stuff ain't clipped in right. See, the fan ain't put in right. It's swinging down there. And over here, like, they didn't clip the bottom of the fan in. And it looks like they just used standard bolts and it looks like it has a new radiator. Look at that. That's a brand new radiator in there. So, I wonder if the fan's even plugged in. I don't know where the fan plugs in at unless it gets spliced together. Let's see, does this get spliced? Someone must have spliced that. I'm going to get this splice open here too and make sure that there's not any issues here because it looks like somebody spliced it together. Okay guys, so it's a butt connector, heat shrunk splice, so that's, that should be fine. Just wanted to make sure that we weren't going to be dealing with two problems since it was real, easily, real easy to check. So now i got to see if we can command this on. Hopefully we can. Okay guys, so the radiator fan can be controlled using the scan tool. I'm going to bring the scan tool up now. Um, when this gets turned on, the light turns on, so I'll show you guys. Okay, so we're going to go down to radiator fan control, and there you go. So now if I switch over to the camera for you guys. So our light's on now. So our control is good. It's not super bright, but that should be more than enough to uh, turn this on. So I'm going to quick. I got out my power probe set. So we're gonna quick check our powers and grounds going to this module. But I'm pretty sure our module's bad. It's probably gonna be a bad module. So guys, here's the ground for the for the light, because I'm connected into the brown and orange down there, or black and orange down there. You can see black and orange goes to ground for the fan. So there shouldn't be really any load going through that one. So now what I want to do is I want to move this over to... Actually, you know what? I won't even move this over. Actually, yeah, we can move it over. Let's go to... Let's go to yellow. I think yellow is the power for the fan. Yeah, yellow is the power for the fan. So what I want to do is... Oh, I think I need an alligator plant. Oh, wait, I got one. So I'm going to get out one of my power probe leads because these are really heavy duty. Like, I mean really heavy duty. 
and we'll put this on battery ground and then we'll load test our powers real quick and then we'll jump our power to our fan and see if our fan turns on okay guys so i got my lead set up so we're connected to the light bulb right here so i'm going to connect this to our yellow wire here and it should light the test light because this should be able to pull uh 10 amps sorry about the road noise so let's see look at that our light bulb lights fine so that circuit's good. Like, yeah, we're only pulling 10 out of 40 amps, but 10 amps should be enough to actually make this fan move. So we got that. So now, what I wanna do is, I wanna disconnect this from this one, and we'll connect these two together. And this should turn our fan on, because our yellow is our fan control, and that's all the relay does. So the fan will probably spin slow yeah, look at that. So the fan's on. So yeah, guys, we got a bad relay. Look at that. Because all we did was bypass the relay right there. So yeah, I'll tell them that they need a relay. And we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so I got it all. Liquid electrical tape back up. Got it unplugged. It doesn't look like there's any damage in the connector. Doesn't look like there's any damage here. I think it just died from probably corrosion over time and water getting in there. The old fan might have killed it too. Who knows? But I fixed the fan on this side. I got it all clipped in. You see it's clipped in there. It's clipped in on this side. Bolts are back in. But I did notice, and I'm not fixing this because I'm not wasting a lot of time here. My job isn't to fix really other people's mistakes here, but. Like if you look down in here, like that bolt is completely crooked and it's like in the bolt, in the nut sideways. So it's probably like all crossed there. That down there is zip tied. Apparently this was bought at auction this way. So I'll just tell them like this side's zip tied too. Cause I'm assuming somebody didn't want to take the front end of the vehicle off. I'm assuming you'd have to take the headlights off. But yeah, so that's where that's at. So I got a new one coming for tomorrow. We'll put it in, we'll test it. Oh, and I taped everything back up, but their looms all split down the side. I don't keep enough of that on my truck, so I'll tell them that probably won't fix it, but it is what it is. And this light is working amazing from Next LED. I upgraded this, I put magnets on the side. So they got the USB magnet connections, and it works so much better with these, because now I can charge it all the time using the bank. And then, seems to work a whole lot better so yeah there's that you can see how dark it is here like it's pitch black it's pitch black in the sky but it's like daylight over here so I'll see you guys tomorrow so guys I got a new relay right here so I'm gonna get this put in and then we'll see if we made the right call or not I just got to bolt it back down and connect it up so guys I got the relay mounted right there so we're gonna go into a scan tool. I got the thing diag connected and we'll see if this this fan spins. Hopefully it does. Okay guys, so here's the thing diag. Let's go into the PCM. This might take a couple seconds to load. Come on. Okay. Let's see. You guys hear noise in the background when I'm in TST seminars live stream. Always training. So let's go to actuation test, I think. Okay, let's go to radiator fan. I just heard it click. Let's see. There we go. Sounds lovely. It's like it's pulsing it. Let's see if we can bring up our fan pits. Or if it just says on or off. Let's see. see, I don't see anything in here. Okay, so let's go back. Here we are, guys. Fan spinning. 
Got everything all hooked up still. So that's, um, that seems good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this off. And then we'll start the car up. And we'll see what happens when we put the AC on. Okay, guys. So you can see the fan stopped. I got it running. Let's go turn our AC on and see if it turns it on. Let's see. AC max cold. Our fan should kick on. There it goes. Guys, it's going pretty good. So there we go, confirm fix. Hope you guys like it. See you later.